uh, actually it's mineral deposits in the ground that originated from the Sahara Desert that the wind picks up and disturbs and actually goes into the jet stream and just goes across to the different countries and floods the atmosphere. Almost like pollution. Somebody with like respiratory illness, like asthma, bronchitis, COPD, or even allergy suffers, uh, it can kick up the allergens. So, you know, you, you'll experience like coughing, shortness of breath, runny uh, nose, itchy eyes, just typical allergies. So people suffer from uh, allergies. I mean, if you have an allergy issue, there's a good chance you'll suffer from this. And if you're already compromised with like uh, lung disease, like asthma and bronchitis and COPD, you're more susceptible to it. Uh, just like with COVID and with the Sarah dust, people are going to experience shortness of breath, coughing, runny nose, the same flu-like symptoms like you do with COVID. But the big difference with an allergy uh, attack, as I would say, is you don't spike a fever because it's not a virus. So it just affects the mast cells, which makes the body cough, sneeze, shortness of breath. When COVID is actually a virus that floods the body, so the body fights it off by raising the temperature. The best thing to avoid is just to stay at home. If you if you suffer from lung issues, respiratory ailments, uh, wear a mask and follow the recommendations of your uh, your physician or your care provider. Or suffering from COVID, and they're already coughing, sneezing, runny nose, and has uh, flu-like symptoms. And here comes the allergen; it can actually make it worse. So it makes the coughing worse, the shortness of breath worse. So it actually exacerbates the issue. We always tell our patients if they're having an asthma episode or an asthma attack, as they would say, if you're using your rescue inhaler like albuterol or Ventolin every two hours and you're not getting relief, it's time to seek a medical attention. Either call 911 or call your uh, physician and let them know what's going on because you don't want to wait. At, at Baptist facilities, you know, we have uh, rigorous protocols to keep patients and uh, visitors safe. Um, effective matter of fact, June 22nd of this year, again, we've limited no visitor policy to our hospital. All the staff are wearing the proper PPE to protect the staff. Um, all patients running the emergency department are automatically provided a face mask from the staff, so they'll actually get to come into the hospital with a face mask for that added protection. Uh, all visitors and employees are, are screened as they come into the hospital to ensure that the public is safe. So the hospitals are extremely safe to come see. Like the governor is saying, even like our mayor, you know, Ron here in San Antonio, you know, be cautious. You know, wear the face mask we go out in public. If you don't need to go out in public, please stay home. Um, there are so many different options out there. So many different restaurants are delivering food now. HEB, for instance, delivers food. Amazon delivers food. So there's a lot of different alternatives out there. So if you don't need to get out, I wouldn't get out. I would stay at home and stay safe. Wear a mask if you do have to get out. And if you are feeling sick or run down, please do not go out and go shopping. Stay home and stay in contact with your provider.